in the previous lessons we have learned how to do an architectural plan and then convert the architectural plan to a structural plan first we decided the column positions and then the beam positions and the next step is spanning of slabs we'll see how the load is transferred in a structure so load is transferred from slab to beam and then from beam to column and from column to footing and from footing it is transferred to the ground so in this diagram you can see that the slab is supported by beams on either side and the beam is in turn supported over columns and the column over footings footing is resting on the ground so this is a footing Low, how, to understand how the load is transferred from slab to beam, we should know what is one-way slab and two-way slab. So, we will take a slab like this of dimensions in x direction as 1 meter and y direction as 4 meters. So, this is the shorter length of the slab and this is the longer length of the slab. So, this bend, this is say, this is supported on either side by beams along the longer edges. So, it is supported by a beam, one beam on, along the longer edge and this is the other beam along the other side. So, if it is supported on uh, beams along the longer edges it will bend in, along the shorter directions like this and the load is distributed only in one direction and if you see the ratio of this longer span which is 4 meters and the shorter span which is 1 meter is equal to 4 and this is greater than 2 so, if this ratio, the aspect ratio, the shorter, the span to, the ratio of longer span to shorter span is greater than 2, then it is designed as one-way slab. So, since it bends in one direction only, it is called as one-way slab. So, if we go to the next slide where there is two-way slab, so, if you consider a slab which is slightly smaller and having a dimensions like this. Say this is 3 meters and this is 4 meters. The, here the ratio of longer span to shorter span 4 by 3 which comes to around 1.33 is less than so, if this ratio is less than 2, then it is called as a two-way slab. It bends in two directions. It bends in this direction as well as it bends in this direction. And you can see in this diagram, the load is distributed like this. This forms a triangle and trapezoidals. Uh, this triangle is of 45 degrees. And this triangular load is carried by beam 1-2. And this trapezoidal load is carried by the beam 2 and 3. So, therefore, you can see that there is deflection along the shorter span, whereas deflection along the longer span. And uh, that is why it is called as a two-way slab. It bends in both the directions. So, if you see the structural plan, you can see the there are many slabs here. And the slabs are numbered as S1, S2, S3 and so on. So you can see that this slab S1 has got a different boundary conditions. Say for example, this edge is continuous with the uh, slab S2 and this edge is continuous with slab S3. And whereas this edge and this edge are discontinuous. So you can say that this slab has a boundary condition with two adjacent edges discontinuous whereas if you consider this slab s5 all the four sides are 
continuous so it's an interior panel and if you consider this s8 s4 s2 and s6 you can see that the three edges are continuous whereas one long edge is discontinuous so in this this is this long edge is discontinuous in this slab s4 this long edge is discontinuous so hence there are different boundary conditions so where you can have a slab where, where in which case where all the four edges are continuous or one short edge may be discontinuous one long edge may be discontinuous or two adjacent edges may be discontinuous two short edges discontinuous like this we have nine different boundary conditions and first so first we have to decide what are the boundary conditions for the slab and also know whether the given slab is one way or two way to as a step for design of slabs so once you design the slab you will decide the dimension of the slab and the slab dimensions considering the slab dimensions will calculate the loads and the loads on the slab is transferred how the loads on the slab is transferred to the beam is calculated will be discussed in the next class thank you